Earlier this year, OpenAI replaced their DAL E3 model for generating images in ChatGPT with a new advanced image generation model they call GPT-40. It can now render perfectly legible text, which has been an issue for all of the image generators. Photorealistic images look more true to life, and to generate high-quality images to get what you want, it handles prompts with multiple subjects and items a lot better. Of all the AI image generation tools I've used, ChatGPT's 4.0 model is the absolute best right now. There are limitations. Also, as of right now, when I'm making this video, free users have a daily limit of up to three images generated. Plus, users who pay $20 per month are limited to 50 images every three hours. And on their $200 per month pro plan, users get unlimited image generation. To access ChatGPT, it has dedicated desktop apps for Windows and Mac OS, and they have mobile apps for Android and iOS. You can also use it in your web browser on any PC operating system by going to chatgpt.com. No matter where you use it, you will need to create an account before you can get access. The best way to get into this is by showing you examples. First, I'll be showing you how to add text generated inside of an image. When you begin, make sure that ChatGPT 4.0 is selected from the drop-down menu in the upper left corner. Then in the query box, select Create Image. In some cases, you'll find it in the three-dot View Tools menu. Your prompts can be as short or as long as you need them to be. Start with a core idea. This could be anything from a serene landscape to an abstract concept. Explain the subject, setting, mood, and style. Add artistic elements if needed, like lighting, perspective, and artistic style. We'll start with a very basic prompt. Begin your prompts with create an image, and in this example, create an image of a blue sky with white clouds and the words hello people in quotes in skywriting. When adding in image text, put the words inside of the quotes. After inputting your prompt, hit enter on your keyboard. It usually takes a few minutes to complete, so to save time, we'll get to the result. It's completely random. In some cases, it may generate two images at the same time. When it's done, you can give the images a thumbs up or a thumbs down. There's a download button to save it to your computer or mobile device. And there's a share button here that lets you copy the link, share it on X, LinkedIn, and Reddit. A good idea is to review the image that was generated, and if improvement is needed, adjust your prompt accordingly. Here's another more complex prompt for in-image text. Create an image of a computer chip with the phrase, hello world, integrated into the circuitry design, symbolizing the intersection of technology and programming. Typically, when you create an image, it will default to a square or vertical image. If you want a horizontal image, type the word widescreen. I'll show you where to do that using the same prompt. Before the word image, type the word widescreen. Get where the word un, and just have an A there. So it's create a widescreen image of a computer chip, etc. When you download a widescreen image, the dimensions are 1536 by 1024. Let's now do a couple prompts that integrate various photographic styles. You can use words in your prompt like black and white photo, high resolution photo, long exposure image, and close up photograph. The first example is create a high resolution photo of a city skyline reflected in a serene river capturing the interplay of urban architecture and natural elements. Here's another photography prompt. Create a close-up photograph of morning dewdrops on a vibrant red rose, highlighting the intricate patterns and reflections. Here's a fun prompt generating scenes and story panels for a comic book. Here's the prompt. Sequential comic panels depicting colon one round bracket, a spaceship captain navigating through an asteroid field, two round bracket, the crew engaging in a laser battle with space pirates, three round bracket, a dramatic escape to a distant uncharted planet. I'll try another one here. See if we can do a prompt where the panels are widescreen. Here's the prompt. Comic story, widescreen panels showing, colon, one, round bracket, a lone survivor scavenging in a desolate cityscape, two, round bracket, a tense encounter with mutant creatures, three, round bracket, the discovery of a hidden utopian society amidst ruins. For this one, two images were created, 
and it's clear to see that a widescreen format is better for these types of prompts. Here's a couple examples of generating landscapes and character concepts for gaming. The first one is create a widescreen image of a vibrant side-scrolling landscape reminiscent of Super Mario with whimsical mushroom-like structures and a colorful obstacle-filled course. Here's the second one. Create a widescreen image reminiscent of a fantasy RPG featuring an enchanted forest landscape, a medieval village, and characters equipped for an epic quest. We'll now do a couple prompts of famous artistic styles reimagined. The first one with text only, and the second with a photo attached. For the first one with text only, create a widescreen image reimagining Da Vinci's Mona Lisa in a cyberpunk setting with Mona Lisa as a humanoid robot against a backdrop of a futuristic city. We'll now do a second prompt with a photo attached in the artistic style of Studio Ghibli, which is a renowned Japanese animation studio. As you can see here, I've already attached the photo. To attach a photo, click on the plus, select Add Photos and Files, then find the photo on your device you want to attach. Here's the prompt. I'll keep it simple. I've attached a photo. Reimagine this photo in the artistic style of Studio Ghibli. Doing this type of prompt is fun. I'd recommend you try doing this with your family photos. Reimagine in any artistic style that you enjoy. I'll now show you a couple fashion-related prompts. The first one is create an image of a runway show displaying futuristic fashion, blending high-tech elements with traditional haute couture. Here's the second one. Create a widescreen image of a dynamic urban fashion scene highlighting contemporary streetwear trends with models posing in a graffiti-filled alley showcasing bold colors and edgy designs. As I just demonstrated throughout the video, creating prompts to generate images is not too difficult. Just visualize something in your head, then in your prompt, describe in as much detail as possible what image you'd like it to generate. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let us know in the comments your experience doing image generation in ChatGPT. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest beginner's guides and other tech-related stuff right here on Brett in Tech.